All right, good morning, my marmots. It is Friday, April 2nd. This is the final day before spring break. I'm gonna take this off I'm by myself. Um, so we're gonna obviously have our Zoom today, but um, there's gonna be a few things that I'm gonna need to discuss personally with a few people uh, on the side. So I may hold one or two of you afterwards to kind of have a quick conversation. Um, definitely doing a lot better today compared to yesterday. I took uh, a muscle relaxer early that morning for my back after my accident and it really kind of jacked me up. I didn't, didn't feel right at all for the whole entire day, all night and uh, slept kind of tossed and turned and all that. But um, I'm feeling a little tired, but you know, it's Friday. Hooray. So uh, I'll make myself a nice cup of coffee with our new espresso machine over there. Uh, I'm going to try that out here in a little bit and, and get going. So I'm going to get going with on this day in his, on this date in history, April 2, 19, no, 2005. I'm not even looking at it. I don't even have it pulled up, but it was 2005. And I know this because I had just met my wife previous to this. Um, but on this date, back in 2005, Pope John Paul II dies. Um, he, uh, Pope that was basically in power from God from the time I was a little kid. Uh, he took over as, uh, and, and it's Pope John Paul II on uh, in 1978 or 79, I think it was 78, after Pope John Paul I died. Uh, he was born, I'm going to look this up now because I can't remember or pronounce it. He was born Carl Joseph, Joseph uh, Wojtyla in Wadowice, uh, Poland. Uh, which is just about 35 miles south of Krakow, which is a big city there. In 1920, he uh, lived through uh, World War I, worked in a rock quarry and a chemical factory. Um, his entire family was killed during World War I, uh, no, one, World War II. Um, they were all killed during uh, Nazi-occupied uh, Poland and um, was basically uh, working in those factories until he until the war ended and he went to uh, seminary school to become a uh, Catholic priest. Uh, he did so, finished that up in the mid to late 1940s. Uh, he got two doctorates. He taught moral theology at a uh, university in Krakow. Um, mind you, this was about the time that the Soviets took Poland and turned it into communist Poland. Um, he lived through the Eastern Euro European Communist bloc and uh, ended up becoming uh, a cardinal in 1967. And then after Pope John Paul I died, it took seven votes. And nobody thought that he would ascend to be, become pope, but it took seven different votes. And if you've ever seen a conclave, they locked themselves inside the Vatican uh, chapel. They all talk and then they vote and they count the votes and unless the uh the person gets so many votes then they take these these parchment papers and they burn them and if it comes out a certain color that means that there's no pope chosen and they're going to remain in there and seven votes can take several days and so they they took their time obviously picking him but he was a uh, he was a pope for 30 almost 30 years about 28 years which is one of the longest reigns for any pope uh, a lot of controversy behind him. He was very, a very, very conservative Catholic. So he didn't believe in abortion, didn't believe in euthanasia, didn't believe in the capital punishment or uh, homosexual sex or a lot of those things that are more accepted in these days. The, he was very, very firmly against it. And so then the Catholic Church was, which if you remember how we went through and did our European map, most of the Christian church, Catholic in Europe, there you go. A lot of it's that color. So, uh, but he was definitely uh, an important figure. So, anyway, that's uh, that's my this date in history. I want you guys to find one, put one below. Um, give me a comment on what you're grateful for, um, and then our Zoom will be at 10 o'clock. I will be sending out the invites here shortly, so we'll get done with this video and post it. And um, I still expect everybody to work. I went through, then I'll talk about this. In the uh, meeting, our Zoom meeting, uh, people have kind of ta tapered off on, on how much work they've been doing. Um, at home, I know the weather's getting nice. I know we want to be outside, but this remote learning stuff that you guys have been so dedicated to all year has got to stay the course till the end of the year so I can get you guys your full credits. You know, we don't want to fall behind because catching up is pretty tough. Um, 
So, but I'll be, like I said, I'll be having some uh, discussions after the Zoom with some individuals uh, about their lack of engagement and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of me. Don't forget to watch CNN 10, send me your check-ins. Um, I also will be sending a fish lab video here shortly too. I'm gonna go uh, record them eating. It's kind of crazy, especially in tank two. Tank one, they're kind of just hanging out. They don't really care too much about food sometimes and getting all aggressive after it. I'll tell you what, tank two, maybe it's because there's a few more fish. Man, they go absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna record that and throw it up there and let you guys watch them just <laughs> rip these bloodworms to shreds. It's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, oh, also I'll be giving out your lakes today. I have most of you guys who will be on today, I will be giving you your lake. You can work on over spring break if you want. I don't recommend it unless you're one of the ones that I'm asking to work. Um, then I would actually expect you to try and get some of it done. But most of you, I'd like you to take spring break off. Uh, enjoy your time and all that. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Peace.